Good morning, everyone. This is Iron Will Becker, and I have another book review for you today. And the book review is Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. And <clears throat> this particular um, biography uh, is probably going to be the iconic story of Steve's life. And the reason I say that, and I believe that, is because he gave uh, Mr. Isaacson unprecedented access, answered questions, um, did not did not censor or <clears throat> uh, or uh, try to to manipulate the story. That was being told by um, Mr. Isaacson. Now, I knew a lot of uh, Steve's history uh, already before I read the book. And while I gained some insights into Steve, uh, more importantly, I gained some insights into myself. No. I'm not even remotely close to comparing myself to Steve Jobs. But what I did see in him were some of my own personality characteristics and traits that <clears throat> that make me sometimes difficult to work with too. Um and I learned I learned a great deal about myself. Uh, and that's really, I think, part of the point of a biography or an autobiography is that you get to look inside someone's mind and it helps you have insight into your own life. It helps you see um, where you might be able to make some changes by learning from someone else's experiences. And that's really one of the key importances of of reading and having mentors is um, having that insight, that time to reflect. Uh, I've said before, and I'll probably say it for a long time, that uh, it takes at least twice as long um, for you to process what you read to really be able to get the meat out of a book so to speak. I also believe you should be willing to go back and reread books, not just novels, but other books, um, business, biographies, autobiographies, um, all sorts of, of nonfiction work that teaches you, teaches us about the world around us. Um, so if you haven't read it, it is a larger book. Um, but it's a good read. And if you don't know anything about Steve Jobs, uh, you might find some of it, um, surprising. And you might end up not liking the guy at all, uh, when you're done reading the book. But don't let that stop you from learning. Don't let that stop you from gaining something from the experience. Which is really what we should be doing when we read a book is gaining from the experiences um, or if it's a, a fiction work uh, gaining some creativity some insight um, and hopefully kind of uh, as my buddy Mike Fallett says uh, uh, helping the creative juices flow so all right, my friends Thank you for spending time with me. If you get value from this video, please like and share it. Um, if you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. Uh, if you're seeing this video for the, if you're seeing this video and it's the first one of mine you've seen, there are several more at ironwheel.net, and there's also many on my YouTube channel. Um, you can also get all of my social media feeds at ironwheel.net slash cs. And um, I'd appreciate the subscriptions, the follows, the friendships. 
and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Make it a great day.